Hi! In this video, you're gonna learn about the Portal node, a global node that listens for a set game event. Let's get started. Usually when you design UIs, you want to have a clear connection between nodes and uh, see how exactly the flow works. But sometimes you may want to jump from one node to another without having a direct connection. This is where the portal node comes in. It is a global node that is active as long as its parent graph is active. So if you have an active graph and it contains one or several portal nodes, those portal nodes will listen for their set game event and react and take control of the graph when that game event is uh, received. So this particular node allows jumping from one part of your UI to another without the need of a direct connection. Due to the way it works, you can consider it to be a virtual connection between multiple nodes, or you can even connect several graphs like that. So you can uh, have two or three graphs work side by side and use portal nodes to interact with them. We will show that in more advanced tutorials as this is just an introductory video. So let's say I'm here and um, I want to see how the flow in this UI works. I'm going to leave the graph here just so you can see the flow. If I press number two, we go to number two, let's go to three, let's go to four and let's go to five. Now, let's say for whatever reason, I want to go from one to five. How can I do that without having a direct connection? Remember, this can be anywhere, even in, uh, in another graph. And how can I achieve that? Well, with a simple game event. So let's create a navigation portal. This is a portal node. And this listens for a game event. The game event can be whatever you want, a string. Just make it unique, unique for your project so that you do not uh, mess up your UI flow because it will take over your uh, UI flow if it is uh, activated. I'm gonna say go to five. I can even type whatever I want. It doesn't matter what the game event is, just that is the same. So I'm gonna say five, go to five, yeah? Let's uh, say without a uh, space. So go to five written like that. I'm even gonna copy this string and I'm gonna connect it here. Let's add another button here. And this button will send the game event, go to five. So let's uh, close Nodi and let's go here. Let's duplicate this uh, button and let's say here five. I'm gonna even rename it five and say portal in this case. And on click, I'm gonna send on trigger a game event. And gonna, I'm gonna say paste because I already saved, go to five. That's it. That's all you have to do. And now let's uh, open again the flow and let's enter play mode. And you will see that when I click this button, it will jump from here to here. So if I press two and I come back, everything is good. And if I press five, even though I do not have a direct connection to it, it will jump. There you go. Now we're in five. Of course, we cannot go back and we go, go with the flow. Now, what else can you do? Well, you don't really need a certain uh, game event to be sent from a button. You can even send it via the graph. So let's say this, uh, let's rename this button to portal. I have a button number five and I'm gonna add a new button name to the buttons category. And I'm going to say portal. It really doesn't matter what I call it. Let's uh, sort this out. Let's not send the game event. So I rename this to portal. And let's remove this game event. And let's enter play mode because we're going to finish editing it there. And now if I press five, nothing will happen because I'm pressing a button that is named portal. So how can I uh, make it work again? Well, I just add another button here and I say numbers portal, I think. Yeah. And let's create a game event node. This sends a game event. 
unlike the port node that listens for a game event. And here, we're just gonna copy this. I'm gonna say copy. And here, I'm gonna say paste. And here, I'm gonna say send, go to five. And this time, even though the game event node it blocks the navigation. In this particular case, because I know a portal node will capture the game event, I, I do not need to connect it anywhere. So I'm just going to enter play mode. And when we press that button named portal, it will go here, send this game event, and this will capture it and jump here. So five, there you go. It just jumped. Of course, you can uh, use this uh, with uh, anything. So let's say I want from number two to be able to jump here as well. How can I do that? Well, I either create a portal game, another button and set it to portal. Or let's go here. Let's add, where is it? Numbers portal. And I can set the same game event doesn't matter but uh, i need a button to do that so let's go to number two and let's add one more button let's duplicate this i have a grid layout here so that's why i can uh, do this with ease again portal i'm gonna rename this to five and just press play that's it and now this will jump to five without having a direct connection. Remember that. Two, again, I press portal. It will go here and it will jump here and reach this point. Yeah, that's it for the portal node. You can have as many portal nodes as you want. Let's say I want uh, to jump to four from two. I can do that as well. So let's create another portal node. Let's uh, exit play mode so we can see the inspector. So let's say go to four, or maybe let's write something else, four, 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 because it really doesn't matter. And let's go here. And now instead of, uh, so one will go to five and two, let's send the game event. We'll go to four, four, four. Let's rename it so we know what we're doing. Come on, four. And this portal will go here. Let's press play. And that's it. One will jump to five. Actually, I need to rename something just to avoid any confusion. So this will go to four now. So let's rename it. Our portal node will write four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So you can see you, have, you can have as many portals as you want. Just be careful that you might lose, if you have a huge UI, you might uh, lose track of where you are. That's it. So if I press five, we use this portal. Let's go to two. And now if I press four, we'll jump to this portal. There you go. So it jumps from here to here without having a direct connection. And again, that's it. This is a very powerful node, so be careful how you use it because you can, oh, you can even trigger it from code, by the way. So you just send this game event from wherever you are and the navigation will jump to your designated node. One thing to note is that you should never ever have a disconnected portal node because your UI will get stuck in it. Just what happened right now. So you should be aware of that. Let's activate this because this is a password. So it, it will capture your UI, but it can also block UI if you have a bad setup. All right, that's it for the portal node. Thank you.